Tonight, a woman caring for her grandchild with cerebral palsy is facing charges. Her name is Rhonda Hopes, and she's accused of leaving that nine-year-old boy alone for more than two hours. It's a story you saw first on 2 at 5 o'clock today. That boy was left alone in Humble. Our Lee Felici live downtown where the grandmother posted bond earlier today. Lee? Dominique, authorities say Rhonda Hope said she didn't realize her grandson was in the car until she got to church. When she was asked why it took so long to get home, she said there were other cars on the road, but a witness tells a different story. A child with cerebral palsy was found alone on his street in Humble, crying on Easter Sunday. The authorities were called and neighbors came out to help. It's a little boy, you know, that, that, that has the problems he has and he can't take care of himself. Willie Harrison knows the boy's grandmother who he says is the guardian of the disabled boy and his two siblings. I've never seen her do anything like this. That grandmother Rhonda Hopes was arrested for abandoning the child with the intent to return. Neighbors and authorities say it all began when Hopes and the three children got into the car to go to church. She told us he got out of the car and she didn't notice it and she left. And when she got to church, she noticed he was gone and she turned around and came home. In probable cause court, allegations read aloud suggest a different story. The nine-year-old stated he was told to go inside the residence and turn the lights off. The nine-year-old walked back outside after turning off the lights and the defendant was gone. When Hopes realized that the boy was not in the car, according to a witness account, she allegedly stated, quote, I don't feel like going back home, end quote. The defendant then stops at McDonald's to pick up breakfast and then went to church. The defendant stayed for the entire church service, then returned home. Harrison wishes Hopes had picked up the phone. She could have called us. I mean, we're, all the neighbors around here are very close with each other. Child Protective Services now has custody of all three children. As for Rhonda Hope, she's due back here in court on May 8th. We're live downtown. Lee for Lisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Lee.